decision. What's that? Universal has a land aimed at children that actually makes sense? Yes, it's Seuss Landing, dedicated to everyone's favorite doctor. Forget Phil or Oz, this is the guy I trust with the daytime talk show. You know, I've criticized various forms of Toontown before for not going as far as they can, and I think I've pinpointed the problem. Mickey's Toontown in California is a great effort, and it does a lot well, but it's still at its core themed after a sanitized approximation of generic cartoon zaniness that can be safe for Disneyland kids, but still still vaguely resembles something from Roger Rabbit. Vaguely. Without being sued by the various Tex Avery rights holders. There are as many styles of cartooniness as there are styles of music, and Toontown is trying to be a one-stop amalgamation of all of them, with some Disney sanitation. But Seuss Landing knows exactly what style it's trying to emulate. Seuss style. We all know it when we see it, and they nailed it. And it makes even the generic rides they cloned from Fantasyland appear unique. Look, One Fish, Two Fish is just a Dumbo-type spinner ride, but it looks like something from Seuss. The Carousel is just a carousel, but it's got Seuss creatures. If I Ran the Zoo is barely an attraction at all, but Seuss creatures! Even the standard metal handrails have a Seussly shape about them. Our greatest challenge in building Seuss was really overcoming the propensity for engineers and builders to build everything at right angles and at 90 degrees. There's not a straight line in the entire 12 acres of Seuss Landing. But a kid's land without a dark ride is a uh, Six Flags kid's land. So here's our dark ride, the Cat in the Hat. Oh what, you're telling me the Cat in the Hat is popular enough for a dark ride, but somehow the 500 hats of Bartholomew Cubbins isn't? I find your data suspect, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know who I'm talking to. It would be easy to write this off as, oh, just another kid's dark ride, but it kind of rocks. Sure, it's entirely safe for kids, although the cat's eyes are creepy as hell. But it's not just a smooth journey. The car whips you around and spins you, and it's kind of bumpy in a fun way. Very appropriate for the good doctor. And a couple of times a day, there's Oh, the Stories You'll Hear, a simple stage show over in an area where Wallace and Gromit music plays. Damn, a Wallace and Gromit ride would be awesome. Sidetracked, this is Seuss characters reading Seuss stories to you, which is great as long as they're not in the middle of any major cross promotion. Movie Lorax doesn't look right standing next to Book Cat in the Hat. Way back in the days when the grass was still green, and the pond was still wet, and the clouds were still clean. Yes, kids, we're going to tell you about the evils of replacing nature with any sort of development. Down with those corporate fat cats who pave over land with money-grubbing amusement parks. Hey, let's dance, kids! Come on, dance, you pipsqueaks! Honestly, the one thing missing from this land, I would love to see a kiddie roller coaster done in Seussian architecture. All of those winding paths he would always draw, tell me you wouldn't want to roll around on that. We get sort of a hint of what it would look like with the high-in-the-sky trolley, but there's nothing thrilling about that ride. Nothing wrong with it either, it's just pleasant. All in all, Seuss Landing is one of the best kids' areas I've ever seen in a theme park, due in no small part to their consistent dedication to Seuss style, and their bending over backwards to please his widow. I don't know if it's better than the various fantasy lands of the world, I mean, after all, it does only have one dark ride, but it is comparable. And speaking of fantasy, Next time, we'll move over to the Lost Continent, a.k.a. the actual closest thing we get to Beastly Kingdom. Prepare to be disappointed. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am... Okay, that's enough.